In this video, I'll study four of the most successful businesses to make a deal on Shark Tank, and I'll share what all four have in common. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Eli with Build Your Tomorrow, a channel dedicated to everything and anything personal finance. We believe in spending less than we earn, saving money, paying down debt, making sound investments. But most importantly, guys, we believe in investing in ourselves. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Before we get into the four successful Shark Tank stories, let's go over some basics. If you're a subscriber, pay attention. The world of business is extremely competitive. If one company comes up with something new or better than the status quo, it's just a matter of time before competitors come out with a similar product. Just think of Uber and Lyft, Verizon and Sprint, McDonald's and Burger King, and the battle between iPhone and Android. The list goes on and on. Competitors eat away at profits and are a natural result of a free market economy. However, there is a way for a company that's doing something new to protect its its new product from competitor. And that, my friends, is called a patent. A patent. A patent. A patent is an exclusive right granted by a country to an inventor, allowing the inventor to exclude others from making, selling, or using his or her invention in that country during the life of the patent. Said more simply, a patent protects a new product from competition. And we see this play out in Shark Tank all the time. The entrepreneurs that get the most interest from the sharks are usually those that have a new product that is useful and that can defend the new product from competitors either via a patent or through some other means. Those are the basics. Let me sum it up one more time to drive the point home. A great company has two things. One, a useful product and two, the ability to defend that useful product from competitors. Now that we have that covered, let's look at four examples. And remember, if you're a subscriber, stay with me. In season five, a company by the name of Brithometer got five sharks, all five sharks to invest in its portable breathalyzer that works with a smartphone. Going back to the basics, the first question is, is this product useful. It's very useful because this product can help people that have been drinking realize that they can't drive. The second question is, remember, keep the basics in mind, is this product defensible against competition? It's definitely defensible against competition because the company has a patent on the device. And this combination led to $20 million in annual revenue. The second example, again in season and five. Bubba Q's boneless ribs secured an investment from Damon John. The first fundamental question, is there a market for good boneless ribs? And there definitely is because I love them. Now the second question, is the product defensible against competitors? And their answer is yes, because Bubba Q's boneless ribs has a patent on the process used to pull the actual bone from the rib. And this led to annual revenues of $16 million and a deal with a national meat processor. Let's keep learning. In season three, a company by the name of Groovebook, which operates in the digital photo space, made a deal with Mark Cuban and Mr. Wonderful. The first question, is the product useful? The answer is yes, because in the digital economy, we need a place to store and print our pictures. The second question, is the product defensible? Yes, because Groovebook has a patent on its Groovebook, which led to an acquisition by a competitor for $14.5 million that probably wanted access to its patent. The last example, in season four, Scrub Daddy, which is a company that pretty much just makes simple sponges, made a deal with Lori Grenier. The first question, is the product useful? The answer is yes, because the sponge actually turns hard 
in cold water and soft in warm water and that seems to be some sort of design that people really like. Second, is the product defensible? Yes, you guessed it because Scrub Daddy has a patent. And who would have guessed it? A simple sponge company now generates revenues of 75 million dollars wow so my friends there are so many business lessons that we can learn at no cost just by watching shark tank and so subscribers the reason that you want to watch shark tank and educate yourself on business in general is because a big factor in building our futures financially is generating and securing our income and so if you're ever going to start a business keep the two questions the two basic questions questions that we spoke about today is the product useful is a product defensible keep those questions in mind and they will guide you in the right direction all right guys well i hope you enjoyed the video if you did do me a favor go down there click the like button if you have any thoughts comments questions concerns stories any business ideas leave them in the comments below i would love to hear from you if you have if you want to see more of these sorts of videos subscribe that would be awesome to have you but till next time guys remember spend less than you earn save your money pay down your debt make sound investments but most importantly guys remember invest in yourself i will talk to you guys next time hey thank you so much for sticking around if you want to watch a suggested video then click this video here if you want to watch my latest release then watch this video here later